Hello Capricorn, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well because this is a general love reading. Uh, the roles can always be reversed, okay? They can always be flipped. So Capricorn, um, definitely apply it to your situation, okay? So let's get straight into your weekly love reading, Capricorn. I hope you're all well. All right. So let's see what is going on in your heart space. Yes. Um, what's going on? Uh, you know, who are you thinking about the most? Whether you're in connection with them or not. Also, Capricorn, if this reading resonates with you, okay, there will be an extended reading and the link to the extended is in the description box below. Um, as I say, always 100% optional. Um, it's not like you're missing out on anything, but um, that's if you just really want to go deeper. Um, and we're doing that reading exclusively from your person's point of view. Okay, we're going deeper into their thoughts, their actions, um, their emotions, um, especially the actions. I did mention that before. Um, outcome and, of course, advice um, for you as well. Okay, so let's... Uh, get straight into it. Also, if you stick around to the end, um, there will be a preview of what I'll be doing in the extended. Okay. So, um, yeah, that'll be kind of more towards the end before I say goodbye. I'll show you what's, what basically what I'll be doing in the optional extended reading as well. So let's get straight into this Capricorn. Let's see what is going on. Oh, I want to get a good shuffle here for you. I mean, a bit of stuck energy though. Yeah, so it's weird. So Spirit just showed me a bridge. Um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe you need to cross a bridge or maybe you and your person need to meet in the middle as well. Um, the bridge actually also signifies, you know, crossing over, um, kind of leaving the worst behind. That could also be reunion as well when you finally come together as well. All right. Let's see, Capricorn, what is going on? Oops. Okay. So, bottom of the deck, what do we have? Okay, well, there's your energy right there. We have the devil, okay? So, definitely, you are not the devil. Um, sometimes I wish the tarot actually used Capricorn with a different imagery here. Um, you could actually be dealing with actually, a, you know, a fellow Capricorn as well, okay? Um, so, the devil is the card of extremes, okay? Um, it can be sometimes burning the candle at both ends. It can also be obsession. Um, temptation as well yeah um maybe you're actually really starting to recognize that maybe there's something unhealthy about your person or something toxic maybe in some circumstances capricorn maybe your person is dealing with a karmic as well um they could actually be quite toxic as well though let's see yeah there could be definitely some form of manipulation going on when we have the magician and the devil yeah together there is some form of manipulation going on there certainly could be you know a bit of um dominance here yeah, a bit of control issues as well. It could be dealing with a fellow Gemini or Virgo. So I've noticed you've already started off with two major arcanas here. Um, but yet, yeah, reminder for you Capricorn here to stand in your power. You have all the tools you need to make this work. Be very aware of your thoughts as well because it seems like you're going through a period now where you're manifesting things quite quickly. We've got another major arcana, the Sun, Leo Energy. Okay, I feel like a lot of these are really focused here um, on your happiness. Now, I love this card. It's one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. Um, it's a card of blessings. Okay, it's a card of, you know, health returning. Uh, literally, some of you are thinking of relocating or holidaying to a hot sunny place. Take that as a sign that it will happen. It is about babies, children. Um, it is coming together. I absolutely love this card. Okay, yeah. I feel like it hasn't been easy. We've got Gemini energy here with that Ten of Swords. There has been some form of ending here, okay? Um, this can be, yes, loss, ending, separation, divorce as well. And a lot of these have felt, well, to an extent, backstabbed, betrayed by your person as well. This situation has um, a bit of sad energy as well. Sometimes when there is an ending, you could have a sigh of relief because now, you know, you're looking forward to the sun, okay? But, you know, for some of you, I feel like the majority of you, you know, it's quite sad. Something has come to an ending and it's quite sad, okay? Hmm. It could have been lack of equal give and take here as well with that six of pentacles there. Uh, that was strong uh, Taurus energy. We have the seven of swords here, also Aquarius energy. There could have been some form of lies here. Um, cheating, stealing. 
um, doing things behind your back, trying to be strategic and cunning like the fox, okay? So it kind of ended, I'm going to say, pretty unjust as well. It wasn't fair. So I'll put all these cards down first. We have the Eight of Cups, okay? Pisces energy. The Chariot, Cancer energy. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. That's also Virgo energy. We have the Queen of Wands, Fire energy. So the beating heart of the reading here, what is it? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, more Virgo energy as well. I feel like this is you actually really concentrating on yourself. We also have the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. We also have the Page of Swords. I'll just move that camera down a little bit. Yeah, I kind of feel someone's watching you. They're keeping tabs on you, probably even a little bit obsessively as well. King of Pentacles, also Virgo energy for me and Taurus. The Knight of Wands, fire um, energy. I think clearly you already know that, you know, whatever's happened here, someone cannot come in and out of your life, okay? I'm kind of really inclined to say that your person actually walked away from this connection. Um, they tried to emotionally disconnect and it kind of forced you to pick up the pieces and, well, move on with your life. It was very difficult, okay? Very difficult only because, well, there was potential for this. We do have the chariot, okay? Some of you, not all of you, could be um, in a long distance relationship as well. Uh, even if it's a couple of hours drive um, just to see each other or literally the next state or country. Um, you wanted this to work. You really, really wanted this to work. Okay. And, you know, what I find even, you know, what's even more sad is that there was potential for this. Um, obviously, for some of you, not all of you, there could have been someone married here or they were in a committed relationship, especially because we do have that king of pentacles. The king and the queen of pentacles are renowned that they are already in a committed relationship um, or they're married. Okay. But um, yeah, there was potential for longevity here. Okay. I feel like some of you actually spoke about the future of going away of your plans here as well, being together. Okay. I do find here that your person's finding you very, very attractive. Male or female does not matter in these readings for me. Gender is not important. What is important is the energy that I pull out of it. Okay. I do feel that this was quite a passionate um, connection that you both had. And I feel like you really had your hopes up. Like, um, in other words, sorry, you had high hopes. Okay. I feel like he's really got each other. You really enjoyed each other's company, good conversations here. And now I'm, I'm kind of picking up a lot of you are actually, well, feeling single or literally single. The Nine of Pentacles here is the minor arcana of the Empress. So a lot of you really could be distracting yourself with studying your career, um, your finances, trying to better your life. You're trying to really work towards what does your dream life look like, okay? Um, yeah, a lot of these could also be, you know, changing jobs or wanting to start a business here. Um, keep doing that, but I'm also getting the energy here that you're really just trying to distract yourself. Because when you stop and you think about this connection, I feel like it breaks your heart all over again. And those feelings, those sad feelings of that Ten of Swords just comes back again, okay? Um, we've also got that Five of Swords, okay? Um, this is definitely acknowledging here that your person may have just really been acting quite selfish here. Okay, they may have breadcrumbed you or ghosted you um, or just really you never heard from them again, which is well, kind of like ghosting. Okay, um, this is yes, it about lies, it is about deceit, it is also about regret. Someone here may have called them out on their actions. As you can see, we have that crow cawing in the person's head. Looks like they've got a massive headache or migraine. Okay, um, but they are regretful of what they've done though. Absolutely though. And in turn, what's happening here is that they are secretly watching you, okay? I have a feeling a lot of you think that this is the absolute end. There is no way, there is no way that you would actually hear from this person. But they are watching you, they are keeping tabs on you, and they do want to communicate because the pages are all about communication. And for some of you, I'm not really picking up a lot of you though, there could be children involved because I am seeing the child, the children here, and um, the page can represent someone younger, immature, or well, um, you know, obviously literally a child here. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of seeing here that this person's looking towards the future. I kind of feel like both of you are, um, but I feel like you're being more sensible. You are taking care of yourself. Um, if you are dealing with a masculine, they could also, um, have children of their own. Okay. Something may have happened in their life. I just kind of feel like they don't want this to be over. They don't like, it doesn't sit well with them how it ended. They do know that it was their fault though, okay? Um, but they do want to commit to you. There is something that they want to give to you while still acknowledging though that they cannot come in and out of your life. 
So a lot of you may have thought really that your person was playing you, okay, that they were only with you for passion. Um, but I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling, that I, I do want to clarify these cards. They're still not giving up on you though. So the Knight of Wands, they are all about messages. They're all about changes here. So it's going to be very interesting to see when I clarify these cards. Yeah, we'll use these ones. Actually, yeah, we'll use these ones. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm getting, you've got very strong energy, Capricorn, but yeah, you know, doesn't mean that it still hurts. That's the thing. Let's see. What else? See, there's that Eight of Cups again. So really, it's showing me, I'm very inclined to say that your person ended this quite abruptly and quite painfully, quite cold as well. But it really just, you were kind of forced to pick up the pieces and say, well, okay, well, I have to, um, I have to go on with my life. But yeah, you have a soft spot for this person though. Let's see. Last one. It's also a bit hard to also erase if, you know, the, the memories that you have together, um, the conversations. I'm also seeing that there was planning for the future, possibly even going away. It's almost like when this, this, and this happens, then we can do this, but that all fell through as well. And I kind of feel you, Capricorn, you're putting yourself first now. Yeah. And you know what? Good for you. Ooh. Whoa. What do we have there? Seven of Wands. That was the first one that um, came out. Yeah, see, I'm seeing that Hierophant Taurus energy. There could be marriage here as well. You kind of felt like an option as well. So I am seeing that um, Seven of Cups there. Let's see. Bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. We've got Cancerian energy there. We have the Three of Cups. This is my union card. It is my reunion as well. It's coming together. Um, the question that could be a third party here, especially if they are still in a committed relationship. I'm almost hearing they're saying, can we give this one more try? But it's like, oh, what is it that they're going to give you that's different? That they couldn't give you the first time though. Okay, so this is definitely showing me that harmony and, you know, harmony, peace and balance. You know, it can be restored here. Okay. Um, we do have three of cups and we also have the three of wands. Okay. Um, Aries energy that is you metaphorically kind of looking out to your person you know that this is out of your control you cannot control their actions um, it is out of your reach there may be a bit of a waiting period it probably even could be around three months or so but I do see them coming back to you okay Queen of Wands Queen of Wands oh look at this laser focus straight at you they're gonna take action you very well could be dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius here okay yeah they want to drop these burdens Okay, I feel like there is still a lot in the air, um, like a lot of stuff needs to be cleared first, okay? Yeah, I feel like both of you may actually be finding it very hard to let go of each other, okay? I mean, you're keeping your cards close to your chest, you don't want to get hurt, you don't want to waste your time anymore. Without Page of Pentacles, that is Capricorn energy, could be an age difference here for some of you, okay? children involved but they preferably they would love to have face-to-face -face communication with you okay they are you know that page was holding that pentacle so there is something they want to offer you okay but is it enough that that's the question though um i really feel here that you're not settling for less anymore and good for you i would do exactly the same we've got the world so let me put these cards here so i can there we are you could be dealing with some fixed signs here okay um taurus scorpio uh leo and aquarius Again, showing there could be some distance between you, long distance, okay? Thinking of traveling as well. Um, so a cycle here has ended for both of you. Um, usually this card is actually saying when the worst is behind you. Um, it is considered the luckiest card in the deck along with the three of wands, okay? But now there is a new cycle. There is something beginning here after they walked away. The question is, do you want this? Will you accept it? Yeah, what are they offering the Ace of Pentacles? A solid offer here. Um, I feel like they're coming back pretty serious. They very well may surprise you. I kind of feel that it's like that solid offer is commitment here. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling that they've really stepped up now. It's like now they know that, oh, okay, I lost Capricorn. What, why did I do that? So even if you walked away, it's it, it was a wake-up call for them. Okay. Yeah. Wow. See, they did give you that tower moment. Okay. Now they may have really just, I don't think you probably even had time to actually absorb what on earth happened, but I feel like they're going to shock you. So this is my breakup, my shakeup card. 
my shocking card or my shocking surprise card. And I feel what's going to shock you is that you have another ace. Okay, you have the ace of wands. They want a passionate new start and they do want to, com they want to commit to you. Wow, it has not been easy though. Um, Scorpio energy with that tower card as well. Ooh, look how things change. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. My happily ever after card. Emotional fulfillment. I just really feel here they're ready to step up. I think they're going to really surprise you. We have the Page of Cups here as well. Definitely showing children could be involved. What they did, how you're viewing them was very immature as well. Especially if they just stopped contacting you. Um, and this is also my apology card. But I'm getting more genuine sweet energy from your person which that's why the tower is there it's like i had no idea my person was going to do this but lo and behold there they go and they shock you as well um pages again so yeah children involved and there could also definitely be lots of communication back and forth so yeah see we have the ten of swords gemini energy and the hanged man pisces energy so <clears throat> a lot of these are actually really thinking that this is the end Okay, I'm never going to hear from my person again. I feel betrayed here. Um, like I said, it is about loss. It is about um, separation, divorce, and all of that. But according to them, this has just been kind of at a pause because they're thinking about this from different perspectives. They're thinking about this ending that happened between both of you. So according to them, this communication, sorry, this connection is just there. It's not moving forward or back. It's just there. Um, according to you, it looks like it feels like it's over, but they do want to talk about this. They're thinking long and hard about this. So let's continue. Yeah, look at this. Five of Cups. Okay. Scorpio energy again. Major regret over what happened. Now, because they're very regretful, they want this to succeed with that Six of Wands. They want this to be triumphant, but they know this is not going to happen overnight. They need to work at it. I feel like they feel very ashamed, guilty, and embarrassed about what happened, but they want to make it right. I really feel like they've changed here. Something's happened where they're thinking, okay, I really need to change. I need to save this. Wow, even if they are with someone else, something's going on. So yes, the situation is a bit complicated, um, but they want to make it work. The question is, because I saw that bridge, um, do you want to meet them halfway? Let's see. Yeah, eight of wands. Okay, again, showing me there could be long distance between you. This is the fastest minor arcana. Okay, so in saying that, this, this is lots of communication coming back and forth. I feel like a lot of you will actually receive it well. You do want a lot of answers. There's a lot of questions unanswered. Um, and your person with another ace, this is the third ace, they come back with truth and clarity. Now the road before you is a lot more clear, Capricorn, okay? Um, this is all about starting again, not repeating the same mistakes from the past, um, and now moving forward with clarity. No more BS, no more challenges, no more delays. This is beautiful. Wow. Now you've got your divine counterpart because we have the queen of wands and now we've got the king of wands. Super passionate um, connection here. I'm also feeling here that, um, you know, even this like probably late night fantasies, they are thinking about you. Um, and look at this Taurus energy, the empress. Okay. For some of you, they do see you as the mother of their children. Um, also, they may actually be dealing with the mother of their children, especially if there are children involved here as well. They're hold you, holding you in high regard here, okay? The Empress is all the queens wrapped up into one. So they certainly have not given up on you. Absolutely not. They see this as something that can grow. And they're hoping, they're crossing their fingers that it will. But they know it's all. this all falls on you now. Um, so yeah, I suppose no pressure, huh? So we've got Virgo energy followed by Virgo energy at the moment. Definitely showing me that ears are probably not talking. And if you are, it's very inconsistent and weak. Definitely not the same as before. Both of you are doing a lot of soul searching. Um, for some of you here with Aquarius energy, that King of Swords. Yeah, um, there definitely could be more than one person. Okay, maybe you do have options. Or maybe, you know, you found out your person had other options as well. Um, I'm kind of seeing that, yeah, there could be a third party here involved as well. Um, but that Swords is all about communication. So you are ready to speak your truth. It's all about communication here. After a long period of thinking there with that um, Hermit card. Yeah, I feel like, you know what, that Seven of Swords, okay? Aquarius energy and Judgment, it's also Libra energy. I feel here that they're going to come back quite sneaky. Yeah. Because, you know, whether or not they were doing, if there was a bit of lies, deceit, and something behind your back, 
Um, they do want to redeem themselves, okay? Because this is like that aha moment, yeah? That light bulb moment. But I'm really feeling here that they do want to come back. They do want to have, they want to try one more time, but they're not really going to, they're kind of doing it a little bit sneaky like the fox here, okay? They're secretly watching you, like I said, but I do feel here, for some reason, they really don't want anyone to know um, what they're doing. That's the thing. So that's quite interesting, though. Hmm. So what I'm going to do now, Capricorn, um, if you just stick around, I'm actually going to show you what I'm going to do in your um, extended reading, um, just so you've got a, a bit of a, a glimpse, because what I want to do, I want to go deeper, okay, um, into your person, only about them. So let's see, I'll just pause it and we will resume one second. All right, Capricorn. So as you can see, I've kind of cleared everything. So um, this is what your extended is going to look like. So I'm going to start off with the tarot. Um, yeah, we're going to check in on your person's energy. I'll be clarifying with more tarot. Um, I'll also be using a mirror salon's love oracle and also the romance angel cards. Um, also, we'll be using um, the yes and no and also timing cards here. And then special messages and advice for you as well, Capricorn. So I know it's a lot of decks. We've got six. There's a lot to get through, um, but it's my pleasure doing this. So just to um, reiterate what I was saying in the YouTube reading, I'm going to be focusing only on your person, their thoughts, their actions, um, their feelings, outcome, advice for you as well. So basically, I'm just going to pretend that your person is right here and I'm doing the reading so we get to dig in a lot deeper um, into your person, okay? So if that interests you, the link to the extended is below. Um, but if this is where we depart Capricorn, I wish you the very, very best. May love, healing and light always be yours, okay? Until next time, take care. Bye.